Hey, hi again. For this part, I will apply the wax to the middle part of the bowl, and after that, I'm going to apply PVA. Let it dry and have them all ready for the resin and the fiberglass. Let's work on that. I'm going to repair some details on this part of the mold using Bondo. This product smells horrible and I have to use my mask to be prepared for that. The other thing that I don't like about this one is that I can only work for 5 minutes after it gets hard and I have to start working and prepare another batch. So let's do it. I'm going to use this heavier fiberglass. The middle part of the boat is a section that requires it to have more strength because it has the weight of the keel on the bottom part of the boat. Now I'm going to cover it with gel coat and I have to mix the gel coat with the hardener.
I put all the pieces of the bow together because I want to measure the distance between bulkhead. I'm going to make using that playwood to reinforce the inner part of the hook. For example, here this part is really strong because it has a geometrical shape. It has corners at the top that make it strong. But this middle section, because it's too big, it gets structurally weak. After figuring out the proper bulkhead distance, I'm going to use my computer and the 3D printer to print the patterns to cut the bulkhead using this troll saw. Maybe the separation of 7 to 8 inches is good. This is not the whole bolt size since it's missing this last piece at the bottom. But it's almost the full size. I will show next the mechanism that I use to hold the pieces together. This is the design of the mold to hold the different pieces using knots and bolts. And also you can see here uh, the keel. It has to be reinforced with plywood on the inner part. But I'm going to leave that for the next video. Thumbs up if you like the video, comment below what you think about the project and subscribe. If you would like to have a notification of the following videos released, press the bell. Thank you for watching.